everyone, Adele and April here from Just Say Scrap, and we are here with Technique Tuesday. Um. Orange Bird. And here's Orange Bird, just like mom had figment the other week. <laughs> um, we are actually at Disney Springs, so outside of the world of Disney. Um, and we're just kind of hanging out, having a good time, right? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yeah, good food too. Yeah, really good food here. Um, so, here's Technique Tuesday, and we could talk about Disney all night, but here's Technique Tuesday. All right, so today we have a very simple technique um, with just some white daisy paper and also a shimmer brush. I know we used our shimmer brush a few weeks ago, but we kind of just wanted to show you once again um, some cool things that you can do with shimmer brushes instead of just, you know, coloring on your pages. <laughs> so we uh, have an unopened one here. You see I have raspberry. Um, I have had people ask in the past how I label them. Close to my heart actually has started to label them, correct? Yes. Um, so this I just took a Sharpie, wrote on it, put a piece of tape over it so it doesn't smear when we're writing. But to start an open shimmer, or to open a shimmer brush, you gotta untwist it and take that yellow thing off. You're not gonna get anywhere if that yellow stopper is on. Then we just twist it back on as much as it goes. You can still see that there's a gap in between here, meaning it didn't go all the way. So I pull off the top, and then with my fingers, I make sure that that is tight and it can't go anymore. And you do not want to ever untwist this. You want to just pull that cap off. That is a big thing. Then to start it, got to shake it up. I'm going to hear it. And then we're going to just squeeze. And you're going to see in here, color show up. I don't want to squeeze too much. But do you see the color is now bleeding into the cap? So I'm just going to use my all-purpose mat here and just start it like this. You can always do it on some scrap paper, but all-purpose mat's great for that. Wipe it right up. Okay, so today's technique is actually very simple. It's using an all-purpose mat, and we're just gonna make sure we have a little bit of ink in here. And I'm just gonna tap on my finger and maybe squeeze a little bit more. Get some of those splatters onto my mat. And I think you can see them in the camera. So we've told you you can take this and you can actually tap your um, your marker, which is what we used to do. But then we found out, why don't you just hit it on your hand? And then this doesn't actually hit your paper. It's a lot better. Um, so that's how we do it now. So we're just going to put some splatters on there. And we're actually just going to take our white daisy piece of paper and lay it right into the splatters. Just like that. Pick it up. And do you see how they're so much more defined than if you just splatter onto the paper? So we just kind of wanted to show you that. Um, I promise this is pink, not red. <laughs> but it goes with Halloween coming up, right? So you can kind of get a really cool effect by doing that. Um, it makes them a lot more defined. I'm just gonna clean up my verse mat here with, ooh, and look, you can even do that. Ooh. Should I try to put it on it too? On the other side. On the other side, this side? Sure, let's see what happens. Let's see, it's an experiment. It'll make my paper a little wetter, but that's okay. Ooh, well that's a different technique. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, but just showing you that you can really use, you know, um, shimmer brushes to do a lot. So that actually turned out really, really cool looking. I like this side better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just showing you, like, you know when you normally splatter on a paper, if you have difficulty with that, Sometimes you can always do something like this using an all-purpose mat, putting it right onto your mat and then putting your um, paper right into it and you'll get more defined splatters. So sometimes you want them to be subtle and in the background, but sometimes you might want them to be more prominent and defined. So that is just our quick um, shimmer brush technique. And this looks really, really cool. It is shimmery. Oh, it is. Cool. It lost a little bit, but it's still shimmery and it kind of looks like a tie dye. But yep, that's our technique. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Also remember, we have our in-person weekend in October and then in March as well. And we have a few more virtual weekends coming up. So make sure you just go over to WordPress, just say scrap.wordpress.com. You can find all of the information there. And also make sure you subscribe. Woohoo! Um, we're trying to get to a thousand followers before December. So, all right. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.
Orange bird's falling. Help. Oh, and he's got a tip. It's like, it's like a haunted mansion. Oh, that's like up on a nose. <laughs> Is that up on a bird's nose? Yes, up here. <laughs>